All right, welcome back once again. So, Mr. Prosper Neteogum, um, Coach Ibrahim Tanko, and lastly, the former House of Folk coach, Mr. Samuel Bodu, are part of the local coaches that the GFA sent to the World Cup in Qatar. And this morning, in an interview with the Blasters media team, these coaches shared their experience with the Blasters players in camp, how things are going on in camp, and also how the experience in Qatar has been a blessing in disguise for them. Let's go and listen to what these coaches had to say about their experience with the Blasters. It's been very insightful. Um, uh, we were introduced to the technical director who assigned us to our responsibilities throughout the period. Uh, he clearly defined our roles to us, after which we met with the technical team and the playing body for their pre-training uh, regimen. Um, uh, in that program, the they, they were taking through what they were going to do in terms of uh, the Swiss uh, they are going to play, how they are going to build up from defense through the middle of the park to attack. And then they also took them through set plays, how they are going to defend and attack uh, their set plays. And when we came to the training grounds, that's exactly what uh, they've done. They did uh, the warm up. Uh, from there, they went through uh, the first phase of the training program, which is the build-up. They did it without opponent. After that, they came into the passive stage where the opponent pretended he was defending to enable them play out from defense. And then from there, they went into active play, uh, which actually uh, was more related to what in the actual game situation will happen. And then finally, they ended up with the set plays. So every set play, if they are able to defend very well, the goalkeeper initiates the attack so that it becomes a functional training, normal training, which uh, ended the training session and they did their cool down. So to me, it's been very insightful, especially if you look at uh, the logical way which uh, the whole session went through, especially the fact that they had the opportunity to see videos and, and graphics, animations of what they were going to do at training. So it prepared them mentally for what they were going to do. And if you look at what they did, based on my, 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 my privilege to see them, the transition was so smooth at training because they already knew what they were going to do and that made it very easy for them to, to, to train. So on the whole, I think uh, it's been insightful to us and the body language of the players. I, I like one thing about them, the chemistry between the players, player to player and player and the technical team is so obvious. They understand themselves, they know what they are doing, confidence levels are very high and I believe if it stays this way, um, it, it's going to be better. We have good quality team, the training content, the structure, the organization, very sequential, very logical. So good job done for today. We have an interaction with the coaches. We had a meeting with the technical director. As coach rightly said, he assigned our rules for us. Yeah, and the training today, I mean, it's normal like the last training. The boys are very, very sharp. And yeah, as you know, we are here to observe and learn something. And I think uh, this is exactly what we are doing now. I mean, looking at the first match against Portugal, I think the boys are ready. When you see the chemistry between the training, the coaches and the players, I think everything is nice. So we hope that everyone will stay fit and then and going to um, World Cup against Portugal. Definitely, I'm sure we are going to have a very good side. I'll talk about the, the team spirit. It's really, really amazing because since we arrived, we could see that the management and then the president and the, all the playing body and the technical team are moving together. They are sharing things together. We, the elite coaches, we are here to learn so that when we go back, we can impart what we taught here to the our players over there. So I'm really, really happy about the team spirit. Even in the training grounds, you could see that all the players are moving together, they correct the mistakes and then they are sharing the ideas together. So I give thanks to the Ghana. All, all I would say that we need their support to support the team so that we can go far. Alright, so this is what Coach Samuel Bodu, Mr. Prosper, the woman, Coach Ibrahim Tanko had to say about their experience with the Blasters. And this is where our video sums up. 
make sure you subscribe to the channel for more blasters updates